I've raced all over the Midwest. Look at that, she opens the door, Van Anhausen takes the lead. But now I'm traveling further than I've ever gone. To race in a series I've never experienced. Really good hook out of those necks and tires. On a track that doesn't even exist yet. I'm Chris Van Nelson, and Nexon Tire is sending me to be the first pro spec driver to race on the West Coast. These Nexon Tires, these ATXs, were absolutely hooked up that whole track, so an absolute blast of a race. This is the road to hammers. So this is the, uh, the fun glory part of, of off-road racing. So we have a bare chassis. So what we're gonna do to kind of protect it when we're going out to hammers, because we are gonna be in, like I said, anywhere from 60 to 20 degrees. I wanna make sure nothing's rusting and we're going across country. So there's gonna be different humidity, scotch bright pad and uh, elbow grease. And we'll have a nice clean chassis that we're gonna go in clear coat to protect it. And we should be good. So as I'm scrubbing here, I kind of talk about what we're doing, why we're going up to the King of the Hammers, why we're bringing a short course race truck out there. So Great American Short Course Series is putting on a race. We're pretty excited to go out there. They're putting it on during the King of Hammers race event, just as added bonus and, and uh, fun for spectators. With the help of Next Entire hopping on board again this year, which we're very happy to have on board. They helped us out, get out to Hammers. We got an approval and now we have essentially a month to, <laughs> to prep a whole vehicle that we haven't prepped for over four months now, three months. We essentially got the approval January 1st and we're headed out February 1st. So the rush is on at this point. We're trying to get everything done in less than a month. What is the reason we're going out there? It's the exposure. It's the weekend of, of everything off road. For us, it's a no brainer to try and get out we're just really fortunate to be going out there. Try and get this camera down to show you an example of what it looks like when these chassis start to get a little beat up, rusty. If we are not right on them right away, we have compounds or additives that are put in the racetrack that essentially cause rusting quicker than it should. But that's also a moisture thing, so it keeps moisture in the track, which is something that we definitely need. A lot of people do um, use different products like a weldable paint. They use standard paint, things of that nature, but right now, I love seeing a bare chassis that's cleaned. I can check everything over just fine. Kind of going to go through the struggle of doing this and we're going to clear it. It's not the most permanent solution for this, but overall it's going to work out well and we'll be able to see any of the fatiguing and things of that nature. And then if we really have to weld through it, then we'll just go through and grind it. So we're on our way to look at an RV. We have an RV but it's not going to work to get us out to Hammers. So we are on our way to Kukonda to meet a couple at their storage unit where they are keeping this RV. We actually looked at it already last weekend. We liked it, but there are a few other things that we want to look at. Uh, what did you want to check? So it's a diesel. The reason that we're going uh, to a diesel is to essentially be able to pull the trailer and race truck out more efficiently after California and just for longevity really. But uh, the biggest thing with cold weather and things like that is cold starts. The sellers are graciously letting us do a, a cold start without starting the vehicle up and make sure the, the diesel fuel isn't gelling up at all. Aside from that, just your basic um, oil leaks, any stuff like that from sitting. We just want it to essentially be the most solid, reliable RV that we can have. I'm slightly confident, but I guess we'll see if we end up buying an RV or not today. I might just crawl under real quick. <laughs> 
Okay. There's just a little bit of uh, oil buildup, it looked like, at the uh, far back, just from blow by and just being a diesel. Oh, it's good. Is this thing on? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we are driving away without an RV, obviously. Mm -hmm. We're both in the same car. Fortunately, that means that we have to figure this out before we leave for Hammer. What do we have? 25 days left? Try and see what else we can find and go from there. Yeah, yeah, because right now we don't we don't have an RV for hammers. Yeah, that is correct. Oh well. Figure it out. Yep. Let me tell you, this thing is definitely thirsty.